is a public enemy number one. Drug is a weapon which can destroy the nation. I think there's no dispute about that. All of us agree that it's a public enemy number one and it's a weapon that can destroy the nation. Uh, you you know the history of drugs coming into Dan Malaya. Eh? You you know uh, masalah masalah keselamatan yang berbangkit lanjutan daripada penyalahgunaan dadah lah. So uh, that qualifies the statement why is a public enemy number one? Why drug can be a weapon that destroy the nation? That can be destroy the nation lah. Uh, you look at history, eh? opium war and all that. How this uh, Gestapo warlords. How they are ruining lah, law and order kan. That's why uh, the previous prime ministers have all declared uh, war on drugs. Eh? In this context, I must uh, begin with uh, the Inspector General of Police uh, on the 8th. Eh? Uh, when he took over as Inspector General of Police, uh, he outlined the tiga keutamaan. Eh? And um, his instructions and direction to me is very clear. That uh, Jabatan Narcotic, uh, under my leadership, assisted with all my able direct, deputy directors and my staff officers uh, to ensure that uh, the war on drugs is being intensified uh, using uh, usage of men intelligently, resourcelessly, and then all the ma- maximum utilization of men, intelligent usage of men, and maximum utilization of resources to fight the war on drugs. We have our successes, which we have he has announced on uh, on the eight. Was it on the eight? The Primpodan Bulanan, kan? On a, on the eight, uh, where Yanomati Datu Aris was there, um, he has announced uh, the successes of all department and the successes of Narcotic Department, which I think uh, you know. For on Jaka, in the interest of time, I will not go into that. Lah. First, the Jabatan Narcotic is solidly, fully behind him. Eh? He's a leader that we are with him and uh, we will deliver and uh, our performance our seizure our raid our successes speak by itself having said that we are not going to rest on our laurels eh? because uh, when we are complacent then we you your standards deter- deteriorate eh? although uh, the record speaks by itself you know uh, the intelligence have, department have done an excellent job uh, 200 over 50 million worth of drugs. Uh, we are not going to rest on our laurels. For this year, uh, we just had our uh, meetings, uh, meetings of the minds uh, uh, of all the narcotic chief, which we had in Lumot, where we discuss our our success, our failure, our strength, our weaknesses, to map out a more effective and efficient strategy to deal with the war on drugs. Uh, mere words are not action enough. There must be action. Action means mapping out strategies. So in this context, the first area that we are going to enhance is procurement of intelligence. This war on drugs, there is no room for half big intelligence. For detection, you need intelligence. So in this context, at all levels, when you talk about intelligence, first is we are enhancing our intelligence capabilities, collection of intelligence. So more training, more engagement with the men, and uh, more exposure, so that we enhance our intelligence collection to fight the war on drugs. So in this context, we will be enhancing our intelligence procurement so that we are one one step ahead so that we can always detect we can detect and we can terminate all these drug wounds you see so our motto this year is action oriented uh, action oriented and uh, in this context uh, we are covering the loopholes we are knowing what went wrong in in cases where they were acquitted and uh, we are more determined than ever to ensure that Arrest must lead to conviction. In the context of war on drugs, as I've mentioned to you, it's a global problem. 
So it's a global pleasure. It cannot be fought in isolation. When the illegals cooperate, you know, one idiot from one Western African country can in, have connection here. You know, in Penang, we arrested two Iranians, two chemists in one uh, Bukit Tajam. You look at it, how did, how did they come here? Who brought them there? They were not in the city of Penang. What does that mean? It revealed that the underworld or the drug warlords, they have got a good networking. That being the case, the authorities, the countries that are fight, fighting the war on drugs mm -hmm. must have a better working relationship. Malaysia is blessed. We have got excellent working relationship. This is one area that the Inspector General of Police also keep harping that we have to work. When you, when you walk alone, you walk fast. But when you walk together, you walk far. So we want to walk far. We want to work far, we work together with other law enforcement agencies. About 20 countries. Uh, some have their officers here, some uh, on case-by-case -case basis. What is important is we are at all time ready to assist uh, with intelligence, with investigation, with financial investigation, with LLPK, with uh, uh, this one, with, uh, uh, with other law enforcement agencies. Uh, we are confident, uh, God willing, we should do better and we can fight the war more effectively. To the war, to the drug idiots, uh, please wake up. Uh, don't continue to ruin other people's life. Ruin your life, don't ruin other people's life. Eh? Stop ruining other people's life, that's my advice. Uh, because uh, sooner or later we'll get you. Huh? Better late than never, but better never late. Lah.